everybody. Hey, uh, yeah, guys. Get that don't, uh, don't, uh, don't break your iPhone 10, or you might have a phone that sounds like this whenever you click the home button. All right, thanks. I think that's See a good later. party. I mean, I think we yeah, should I cash. Yeah, I think we yeah. should cash right, right here. <laughs> Stay well, fellas. <laughs> Anyway, welcome, welcome back, welcome back. You Today create, we're going to be talking about a rather interesting topic. You create the reality why? you live in. No, we're talking about the stone ape theory. No, okay, well, we're actually talking three. about an even better topic. Uh, why it's morally superior to sit down when you pee. Alright, 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 all right, we got, this, we got three, Hot take! We got three interesting topics ahead of us. Kidding. Okay. Why Jeff Bezos runs our life. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is gay. He is. But, actually not anymore, he stepped down. Y'all saw that? Yeah. No, what? Yeah. He you didn't see down. that. He yeah. stepped down as CEO from Amazon. It's going to be some other dude now. Wow. Bro, he's still going to be pulling all the strings. He yeah. just doesn't yeah. want fucking nooses in his front yard anymore. Yeah. True. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Kind of crazy, but yeah, Stone Ape Theory. You know anything about it? Yeah, man. So basically, uh, you got some chimps, some apes this in the jungle, I and they you. stumble across the, some mushrooms, some ayahuasca, psychedelia. And they basically, you know, oh, mushroom. Mm. Mm. Oh, shit. Boom. Out of that, consciousness. Okay, well, I can think about my future now, and I can conceptualize about the past, so let me prepare for the future um, and learn from the past so I don't have to repeat the past. This is some Joe Rogan, that shit. And then, and then you, <laughs> you, you are. Fuck with it. I, th I feel like when you do shrooms, you, you like genetically change your brain. Because like I feel like it. You actually do. Yeah, I feel like it opens something that just. It, it dissolves a barrier between. Uh, it actually dissolves your ego away, mm -hmm. but it dissolves mm -hmm. the barrier of perspectivity and like mm -hmm. one-mindedness. Mm -hmm. So it dissolves barriers, and you can just keep expanding your consciousness. It reminds me of this quote I heard today. Um, it's like, "Wisdom is knowing I am nothing, but love is knowing that I'm everything, and I am living in between the two. Or no, Damn, in, be no, in, in between the two is my life, that's which is crazy. crazy. Which that's is crazy. crazy. That's a great thought. All right, who we got? Who's hopping on the pod? Trent, come on now. All right, <laughs> Trent, you're on the podcast. What's up, Trent? No, 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 no. Come join us. Let's go. Let's go. Come do the podcast. I'm on work. I'm on work. Trent's on the podcast. All right, what do you know about the Stone Ape Theory, Trent? What? The Stone Ape Theory. You know anything about it? No, I do not. My man said I'm clocked in right now. I can't. 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 I
I just had this wild thought. So it's crazy how like while so like we're like in the the furthest present moment that has ever been on this planet. Mm -hmm. Like everything that's ever happened in the past has led up to like right now. So all of the information that has already been like discovered is in either like a book or on YouTube in a video or like somewhere. It's somewhere. Right. And that's just recorded information. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And we have access to all of it. We would just have to find it. And while mm -hmm. in our consciousness has the ability to develop past like like that is like Jordan Peterson because we can learn everything that he knows and then develop it into our lives and molding our own perspective around our generation and like we just have the the potential to develop a unfathomable consciousness. It is. It's the potential. Um, yeah, yeah, right. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, everyone has that potential. It's just you need to rationalize what you want to do with it's your like, life, and most people don't want to take time and actually. Yeah, learn I mean, and all that. the question. I mean, I totally agree with you, but the question I immediately think about when I hear that is like, everyone does have the potential to be Jordan Peterson. Mm -hmm. So why is there only one? Yeah. It's like, if everybody can reach. Like or even age. using him as an archetype. It's like if everyone can, if if it's physically capable for everyone to reach like a state of nirvana or an enlightenment, why doesn't everyone just get there? You know what I mean? Dude, that reminds me. If everyone, okay. So I heard this quote from Ram Dass. Okay, look him up, Ram Dass. Um, he was an American psychologist who traded everything and went to study Buddhism um, in the Himalayas. So, he said that if everyone reached nirvana or enlightenment, then there wouldn't, now would not be here. Like, we would not be here because this place is teaching us something, therefore, we're trying to reach that existential point. Yeah. So, we wouldn't be here if we've already all reached enlightenment. So, we're learning on this planet and we're learning you are just taking it all in and trying mm -hmm. to get to mm -hmm. that point yeah whatever it may be that you think if you if you think it's reincarnation so be it you know reincarnate to be whatever you want yeah yeah let me this is religion shit. let me ask let me put a question to both of you because i always find people's responses to questions like this super interesting um so we've already established that everyone can get to nirvana mm -hmm. But so few, so incredibly few people do. So what do you think are the things that hold people back from that? There's about a hundred bazillion different answers. So mainly I would say gratitude. Honestly, gratitude. You think people just don't feel enough of it? Yeah. Or yeah. just not enough. I mean, a lot of the people I talk to. Like, they're, they're, everyone has always, there's always something to complain about, you know? Like, there's always something. There's like, always a reason not to do like, something. There's always a thousand reasons not to do something. Shit gets old, like, and, like, just, a, like, me, for example. Like, I'm already tired of my, my car. Like, you know, I'm like, I already want a G-Wagon. Like, I'm already. Right, right. Like, people would kill to have the car I have now. And I'm like, damn, it's not fast enough. Like, yeah. like literally, like, I just need to yeah. be a fucking appreciative of what I have, but. Like, people are like that with just everything in their life, you know? Like, they're so tired of what they have and they just want new stimulation always, especially with social media because they can constantly get the stimulation. Yeah. So that definitely makes it a lot harder. But yeah, gratitude and uh, being present, I think. I know you're cooking up a good answer over here. Yeah, what you got, <laughs> what you got for us? Each pilgrim is on their own path to enlightenment. Um, all paths lead to the same place, although, like, at the end of the day, we are all, we're all humans, we're all trying to find ourselves, find the purpose. Some do, some become enlightened, I mean, there's been many people who can, m mostly in the Eastern cultures, have reached enlightenment, like Buddha, um, yeah. like Jesus Christ, like, these are all written in history, these are actual people right. who are sharing their experiences and there's people who can predict future occurrences and there's people who can actually pick up on different energy uh, vibrational fields and like know what's going on within someone else's life or head, like they can actually read what's happening. 
uh, and, and it sounds voodoo and it sounds woo woo. It's actually been like <laughs> it's actually been proven in mostly the Eastern cultures. Okay. Um, but everyone, I think what stops a lot of people from reaching that enlightenment is, dude. Honestly, I've been learning so much about the Western world, and it's really fucked up. Like, the world that we're living in in the United States, like, yeah, it's got a lot of structure, but it just distracts you. It really distracts you from what... If I mean, if you don't care to reach enlightenment, so be it. But if that's what you want, and you want to know your purpose, you want to know why you're here, you want to know what you are, then there's a lot of distractions, and it's all about overcoming those distractions. Yeah, yeah. if I can... Just uh, throw some input in here. I would say I agree with you in the sense that enlightenment and reaching nirvana, or we can bring this down to earth a little bit more and we can dispense with those terms and say like, instead of finding nirvana, maybe we could say like, like having a meaningful life. I think, because those are kind of the same. I mean, nirvana's way up here and a meaningful life is right here. But if you're in nirvana, well, nirvana obviously would probably be meaningful, and I think one of the ways you get to nirvana is by having a meaningful life. So yes. I think we can kind yes. of bring it back down and use that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can so I definitely that. think it's not possible to get to that place under a purely capitalistic framework, but I think that's a little different from Western civilization. So what I want to ask you is, well, two questions. The first one is, do you think like a fucking monkey develops a consciousness. I mean, it, if something so simple like that, like us have consciousness, then wouldn't it make sense to have something else, something greater, something that we don't even know that's more divine having a greater consciousness. Oh, it's just a thought. It's yeah, not yeah, proven, but it's yeah, a thought. Yeah, yeah. And I think the potential yeah, I mean, is greater than we could imagine. There's no way that we're like this smartest species there's, there's just no way or organism or fucking right. thing like there's just no there's just no way i know <laughs> there's, there's, there's everything no way. that's out there all the galaxies and have the you seen those multiverse videos, the cosmos the videos of like it'll be like an astronaut and then like the shuttle and then like the uh, the space station and then it'll be a planet and then a bigger planet and then like then they get this on and then they go like yeah and then it's just like bigger than that yeah and then it's just like <laughs> what the fuck and then people will be like Here's why I don't do my homework anymore, and then it'll be that video. I'll be like, I, 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 I hear you, dude. Like, there's yeah, just no dude. fucking reason. Like, you're not on this, you're not on this floating rock in the middle of fucking space. To it's do the your... Western civilization and wow, the bro. materialistic world that keeps you driving um, away from, you know, kind of expanding that consciousness and, and like inner peace spiritual from, like, aspects as well. Yeah, almost like inner peace. Yeah. Because like, why the fuck? Piece. Like, dude, it's just I have so many questions. Like, that I don't know. I don't know who can answer. You know, like why? Why are we? Why are we going to school doing algebra? I mean, obviously, like, math is kind of cool because it's like we discovered math. Like, we didn't just mm -hmm. make it up. Like, and math is everything around yeah, us. Yeah, but like the the curriculum could be so much betterly organized yeah it could like be geared towards like an actual interest like, instead of just hey i'm gonna slap you with like, that trig like everyone cow. is so different so like why don't you just specify like learning for each person i know that'd be really hard but like it's so possible like there's so many like it's just it's just it, by now like if someone's into art like all right here you do the art shit that's you like you do the art shit mm -hmm. or if you're into like history all right you do the history shit like you're in motivational speaking here and just do this shit like there's so many like it gear your life towards that way if you want to be an engineer do this shit like it's that's certainly a possibility but i don't I, it I just can't, I unfortunately it, I can't like, see that happening i feel like people years, are uh, like people i feel like that's definitely like exactly what you just pointed out alex there's a huge there's a huge hole like in the public education market right now for something like that because the things we're saying like everyone who's gone through the system like knows this like that the way it's set up like i mean everyone knows that like the public school system started to train factory workers like that's not a mystery that's common knowledge like and it's still the same way that it used to be like there's a huge hole for individualized education and i think sometime soon probably when covid dies down a little bit 
there's going to be someone that comes along with a brilliant idea that completely changes the way public education works. Like it's coming. I know for a fact that this. I and like I people are coming. going to become like billionaires off that specific niche in the market. That's my prediction. I, I really hope something like that happens because there needs to be reform and change right, that right. has to happen. It's right. society, so, right. so right. long right. overdue. Right. So right. long overdue. Right. Right. Yes, bro. It's just because the Rockefellers created the curriculum to make, make workers. Make, have you ever heard about that? And mm -hmm. now this video is desensitized. Ah, right. <laughs> and can't mention Rockefeller. <laughs> can't mention that name. They have a hand in everything. <laughs> you know, the, the top of the spectrum, all the wealth. It's just pumping money into different things that they want, you know, they control it all. They control the banks, the banks. The president is just a figure, man. Everything else is moving his little puppet. mouth and moving his little hands. Yeah. Demonetize me. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have said that, but food for thought. Yeah. You know, play with that idea. Yeah. Definitely food for thought, but yeah, it's just definitely everything that you need to learn in order to live the life you want to learn is on the internet. For free, like True. you just have to look, or True. in a book, True. and you just have to read. You can definitely get behind that. Yeah, I mean, like, like there's just like nothing that you can't do, you know, for free. Like, forty grand on a college education to be an entrepreneur. Like, why, why don't you just be an entrepreneur? Like, yeah, dude, my dad. As soon as I mentioned, uh, stop, like, to stop, like, going to school. Uh -huh. You know, not pursuing nursing anymore. He's like, okay, we'll go into business then. No! <laughs> Hell no! So you want me to push this bro. money away? <laughs> it's not even that. It's just my time. I could be gathering all the insight myself and yeah, not learning yeah. bullshit like finance. What the fuck? Yeah. Why do I need to go to school to learn? Fi I can learn yeah, all this you're, shit. You're uh, pissing off a ton of people right now. But oh, I'm sorry. I do. I can. You can find all this information anywhere. You really can. You really can. I mean, like college education gives you the piece of paper to get into your job. It gives you credibility. That's that's what it does. That's really it's the credibility. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. like all the information's out there. But nowadays, you just don't really. You can work for yourself. Like you can really, you can do whatever. It's manageable. If you don't want to work for yourself, then go to college. Yeah. <laughs> now you're just. Pissed. But no, I like no, I'm we're, just, we're, we're pissing off. So we were pissing off a lot of people. <laughs> Apologize if you're offended, but I mean, don't if you're be offended, offended. That means you should just. Don't like, take things double, personally. Double think. Definitely don't think anything personally. Don't, don't. We're not attacking you. It's just no. kind of. The, Everyone out. has their own opinion. Yeah, yeah, off the information that we've gathered, this is when our conclusion comes out. Here. Yeah, <laughs> and none of us have college degrees. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I dropped us. out two months in. So and <laughs> I am two years in, and I'm about done. About done. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see though. We'll see though. We, we will. You can never say never. We will but. see how that statement ages, Ty. Here in a couple months. But I'm excited for it. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for what you both got. For what both you guys got going and on. You, and you, all three of us. Totally. Like, and everyone who's watching this, like what? our generation, I want to see some big things out of us. Yeah. We're, we're going to be coming. faced it's with coming. some adversity. Major, major, major adversity. Someone adversity. from our generation <laughs> is going to reform the school system. I believe it. Speaking it into existence. <laughs> All right. That being that's, said, that's a great yeah. end right there. That's a great place to catch All right. it. Hopefully, next time, uh, won't be too far away from now, but. Uh, Mm -hmm. Let's just knock another one out after this. Cha-ching! Right, 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 right. <laughs> Cha Alright, yep. Stay woke. Stay woke, boys. Peace out.